Yin, we're leaving tomorrow for America. Do your packing today, Yin father said to her. What? Why are we leaving dad? She asked surprisingly. Do what I say. Don't ask questions. It's better for us, her dad replied. But dad, what about my friends? How can I leave them and Jungkook? She said, forget about him. You're not meeting him anymore. Start your packing today, he growled at her. She was going to say something, but his dad phone ringed. And it was Mrs. Jeon picture Yin saw the screen and her name was saved as partner. Yin. Why is Mrs. Jeon calling you? Yin dad. You don't have to know about that just do what I say. Yin. Dad why your best friend's wife is calling you? She said madly are you. Having affair with her. No 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 don't tell me. Yin dad. Quiet. Go to your room and do your packing we don't have much time left. She went in the room and took out her phone. She was calling someone. When he picks up the call, Yin. Hello Jungkook. Jungkook. What happened baby? Why are you in worry? Yin. I want to meet you Jungkook. Please see. GK. I'll be outside in five minutes come down. She put on her shoes and went outside the house. He came there she get in the car. And he drove away. GK. What happened babe why are you crying? Yin. Jungkook. Dad is. Dad is taking me to America. She said sobbing. Jungkook. You're not going anywhere my love no one is going to take you away from. Me. Yin. He said we'll leave tomorrow. He is forcing me. I don't want to I live without you. He stops the car and hold Yin's hand he pick her up and put her in his lap. Her tears were coming out. Jungkook wiped her tear and said, GK, I'll not let you go anywhere. Stop crying. Yin didn't stop crying. He hold her face and look in her eyes. He put his lips on her. They both kissed for two minutes. Another car came in the view of them it was Yin father's guard. Mr. Jack. Yin come out we have to go it's urgent. Yin didn't move an inch and she snuggled more in Jungkook arms. Mr. Jack. Yin your dad will be angry and Jungkook. He was quiet. Your mother needs you now. He pull Yin away from him forcefully. Jungkook grip loosened because two other guards were holding Jungkook. Yin. Jungkook she shouted. GK. Stop. Do this take her away. Leave me you be at starred. Mr. Jack. Jungkook you need to go home your mother needs you. He said this and went away. Yin reached home. Yin dad. We're leaving today Yin. Pack your necessary thing in 15 minutes. Rhea there. Maid will going to help you. Yin. But you said we were leaving tomorrow. Why so sudden? Yin dad. Don't ask questions Yin. We need to leave quickly. Yin. No tell me why. Yin dad. Jian is dead and we have to leave Fiam here quickly. Yin. Wa. What Jungkook's dad? How dad? She was shocked to hear this news. Yin dad. Yin we have to leave now. He shouted. Rhea took her bag downstairs. Yin dad hold her arm and drag her outside. Yin. I want to meet Jungkook. He will be sad. She was continuously moving out of his father grip. His father drank her water and then after that she don't know where. She is what happened. Everything blacked out. After five years. Oh my god this is really beautiful Yin. You are the greatest artist, Rari said this to you. Ari is your friend in New York. Yeah I know. I really want to win this competition. I want to prove dad that I can. Live alone Yin sighed.
Yin, you know your dad is very possessive, very sad. Yin call ring. Yin dad. Yin, when are you coming back Chicago? Yin. Dad I'm happy here this is my home and I will prove you that I can live Alani. Yin dad. What are you doing there? Yin. If I told you then you will secretly help me. I want to do everything by myself. Haha <laughs> bye dad love miss you. Yin dad. You naughty girl bye miss you more. Airy. Well I don't think you are planning to move back Chicago. Yin. Yeah. Haven't made my mind till yet. Airy. Is this because Henry? Yin. Ha no way. He is just my friend, Airy. But I don't think so he considered you as a friend. Your foolish talk. I am going back in my apartment, Yin said and went to her. Apartment. GK Pav. I was sitting in my club with dealers. GK. You think you could betray me and I wouldn't get to know about that he smirked with a gum in his hand. It was VIP section actually it was his club so no one can say anything to him. Hi gum. Sir? Sir I'm so. Sorry. He forced me to do. Bam. Bam. His body lying there lifeless. Whoever tried to betray me, hell will be waiting for him. Jungkook was drinking when his dad's manager said something dot 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 Amar Briar. Jian you are really like your father. After listening his father's name Jungkook remembered that day. Flashback five years ago. When Jungkook went back homey. His mother was sitting on the floor silently looking at her hands and in front of her the lifeless body lying of Jungkook's father. Jungkook's eyes open he ran towards his father lifeless body lying. GK. Dad. Dadid. Wake up please. His eyes were full of tears. GK. Mom please say him to wake up. Mom say him that I can't live without him. He was crying continuously. He looked at his mom. She was on the floor lying consciously. GK. Mom mom what happened he shouted and kept saying her name mom. His was alone in his world. His dad wasn't with him and his mom left this world too. Mr. Briar was his dad assistant. He took Jungkook with him. He got to know from Mr. Briar about the night his father died. Yin dad was also present there and on that night he left for America. He tried to solve this puzzle. On that night, in take him outside. His dad died on the same night. Yin dad was also present there and he left urgently for America that night. His only aim was to take his father's seat of undercover mafia, and vengeance of his father's death from the people who left him on that night. GK. I will give you the same pain you gave me that night I promise. No one can save your dad from me. Flashback ends. GK Pav. I entered in the big hall. The time has came. I know what I'm doing. It will be so painful, so painful. My dad will be at peace soon. I entered the room without knocking. Mr. Han stands up and looked up at me in shock. Mr. Han. The last thing I expected was that you would visit me. GK. He smirked the last thing I expected you to took loan from me. Mr. Han. What? Loan I didn't took loan from you. GK. Boba Company remember. Mr. Han stands up from the chair. Mr. Han. It was yours his breath hitched. GK. Yeah, and I also know that where you invested it was a fraud.
Mr. Han was surprised to know that how he know everything then it got clicked to his mind. Mr. Han shouted angrily, MTR Han, you were behind everything. He hold his collar, Jungkook, chi 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 I want my money back. Or you know what can I do to you? Your build house, your build company. Mr. Han was silent till he stands up back on his place. Mr. Han, what do you want from me? Jungkook looked at him he loathes him. He want to kill him right here right now but, now that he wants something from him he was silent. Jungkook, hum, see now you came to the point. I want my money back, if you can't, give me then I want your daughter Yin. He smirked. Mr. Han's face color disappears. Mr. Han. What did you say? He said furiously. Jungkook. Simple give me your daughter. Mr. Han. How dare you ask my daughter? I will not give Jir to you. He shouts. Jungkook. Then ready to pay you punishment in hell. Two days I'm giving. You two days. If you didn't go her to me I'll forcefully take her and you will not like that. He stood up pat Mr. Han's shoulder. GK. Think about it he faked smile and left from there. Nobody ask him a question. He humiliate him. He made him helpless but nobody can say anything to him. Mr. Han immediately unlock high phone and call her. Yin Pav. On phone call. Mr. Han. Yin my daughter quickly pack your bags and come back. I'll book you tickets. Yin. Not this time dad please. I'll not listen to you this time. Last time you forced me. But you can't take away Mu career from me. Mr. Han. Yin Jungkook is there. Yin breath stopped for a min. Yin. Wah. What? How do you know dad? Mr. Han. Yin I don't know but he is asking for you. Come back I will tell you everything. Yin didn't think anything and packed her bags quickly and went to airport for her. Flight. Her father booked her tickets. Next day, at airport, she checked in and her flight ache off. After some hours she landed there. While going outside the airport she collided with someone she was in such a hurry. She looked in front of him and he was there. He was there in front of her after so 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 long. His eyes was dark. He looked at her. Jungkook. Why are you in such a hurry? Yin didn't said anything. Jungkook. Running away from me like last time you did. Yin's breath stopped. Yin. What are you talking about? Jungkook. Seems like you forgot everything. But don't worry I I'll remind you. Everything. Yin. But now everything is changed. GK. No nothing is changed only my love replaced with Elidath for you. He grabbed her hand tightly. Yin. Leave me. She hissed. GK. Let's meet your father together. What do you say he dragged her towards his car? Jungkook stop. Leave me Yin said. He put her in the car back seat and sat on driver seat. He starts the car engine. Yin didn't say anything. GK Pav. She was rubbing her arm softly where he tightly held her hand. He was looking at her. From the front mirror. She was the same girl. Her beautiful brown eyes. Her soft. Skin. Curly hairs. She is the most beautiful girl. He would not let Het go this time.
Yin Pav. I was waiting for him last years when I came to America it was difficult for me to move on every time I tried to reach him I couldn't. He blocked me from everywhere. He didn't even contract me. I got to know about him from the new and social media. He is very famous. His pictures with girls in the bar. When I looked at those pictures, my heart bleed more. He wasn't the same person anymore. He was more dark person I've ever knew. I only know that he lost his parents at that night and after that he is different. But now he is here to take like I'm his property or something. I don't need him. When I promised him that I will not share him and he promised me too. But he broke. That. One tear left from my eyes. I quickly clear that from my face. They reached Mansion Yin looked outside the car. It wasn't his dad he took her somewhere else her mouth opened to ask him question. But he opened the door and left the car, he was coming to her side to open the door. Yin. Where did you take me, Jungkook? Your destination maybe. Now come out. Someone is waiting for us. Inside. Yin. I will not go with you anywhere. Jungkook hold her arm but this time not tightly he dragged her inside the mansion. Yin. Leave me leave me now I said leave me but he didn't listen to her. They went in a room. Her dad was already present there. Yin. Dad she went towards him when he leave her. Mr. Han. Yin my daughter, are you fine? Jungkook take a seat and looked at the contract. Mr. Han. Now sign this and give her her to me or ready to go to jail. Yin was shocked to listen to him what he was talking about he was not the same person she loved. Yin. That means dad that you will sell me to. Him? She was shocked. Mr. Han, Yin no you're my only daughter I will not do this to you but looking at him, you knew he was helpless in front of the man, Yin. But why dad? Mr. Han, Yin I took a loan from his company but I lost that. In return he wants you. Yin, how much? Mr. Han, 10 million dollars. Her eyes opened it was too much even if he sell everything he will not able to manage that much money. It was too much. Jungkook cuts in the middle. Jungkook. If he don't he will lose everything right he smirked but you. You can save him girl. He was talking to her like strangers. Mr. Han. Yin I'm sorry. He felt helpless. But you don't take tension I you will jot give you to him. I promise. Yin. Dad can I talk to him alone? Mr. Han look at her and she assured him he left from the room. Jungkook was sitting on the char. One leg on the other. Like he own her. Ready for her statements. If you want me then I have some requirements she said to him. I don't want you. I want to see you helpless he replied sternly. Jungkook you want me? You can lie to everyone even yourself but not to meet you. Can't deny that Yin said to him. Jungkook didn't said anything because he knows somewhere she is true. He can. Destroy them in a minute or seconds maybe but he is asking for her. My only requirement is that if you want me then. Marry me she said sternly.
She looked in his eyes. I don't want to live with someone as a mistress she added. He was quiet for a moment looking in her eyes. Deal. After hearing that she take her eyes off from him and left the door while going out, she said, I'm not something you can toy off Jungkook. Maybe you are the most powerful man but you can't take me under you remember that. She replied and left. From there? After some times Mr. Han reached his home. Mr. Han, Yin why did you do that? Why are you marrying him? Yin. Dad I don't want to lose you. You did hard work to build everything. I want to save you as a daughter. I'm sorry dad. She hugged her father and cried on his father's chest. Days were passing and wedding was coming. She was still shocked that how can he even agree for marriage? She was in her room at late night reading some books. It was the escapism for her from the reality. While reading she heard some voice coming out from the window. She stand up and looked towards the window. She sighted the curtains and he was there. Jungkook was looking at her. They both look into each other's eyes. She don't want to open the window but her heart said to open it. She unlock the window and open it. Jungkook came inside. Both eyes were locked to each other's he looked at her like she was his prey. He was moving ahead and she was taking her step back until her back touched the wall. He got enough closer to her. Yin took courage and asked him, Yin, what are you doing here? Jungkook, why can't I meet my wife to be? Yin, only in papers, she said fiercely. Jungkook, hum, but for me, you will be my real one, he whispered in her ears. Yin, you know it's just a deal. I'm just a deal for you, right? Jungkook, yeah, just a deal for me. Her inside started to burn she also loathe him like he do. She don't want them to end. Like this. Jungkook. You know how much pain you gave me. I was alone he started to get. Closer to her neck and sniff her. Jungkook. You smell good. Yin was shivering with his touch. Yin. Jungkook Lee. Leave. She whispered trying to control her mo at N. Jungkook, I'm not here to leave you, Yin. Can you answer my one question? Jungkook, hum still sniffing her neck. Yin, from when you started to think me as a deal for you. He sled he looked at her face now his eyes started to came at her eyes. Jungkook, the day you left, the day you told me you don't want to leave but you left. Me alone there my dad died, my mom died. I was Alani, and your father, his hand tightened on her jaw. Yin started to move. He got closer to her and Bar shed his mouth on hers for a long time he was. D at devouring her. Like a hungry man for prey. Jungkook, you both will pay for that. He said after removing his hand from the jaw. He left from there. After days it was a wedding day. Everything went well it wasn't that dramatic day. My dad felt sad for not doing anything for me. Now I'm going to live with him, alone in his house in his bed. We left for home he didn't come with me. He just got something and I was happy that he is not coming with me. It's not like we didn't have SX before. He was my first and I was his first. We both. Loose RV. Region. Tie to each other. But this wasn't the same situation. I was feeling tired. I changed and slept. At midnight. 
I groaned because of the voices coming from the room. I slowly opened my eyes and looked at front. He was there hairs were crumbled and first to button of the shirts were open. He spread his leg like a man made. His eyes were on me. He wasn't blinking looking like a vampire. Yin sat up on the bed and looked at him. Jungkook stand up from the couch and came towards her. He was just looking in. Her eyes. Jungkook. Why he gasped. Yin. What are you talking about Jungkook? After a decade she took her name finally, it felt like a peace and frustration mixed. Without wasting a second he put high L. P.S. on hers. He was eating her hungrily. Yin wants to stop him but she was enjoying equally maybe she wants this. Her body was betraying her she couldn't stop and responsing her with the same energy. Both broken souls we trying to amend each other. Both were heartbroken. Both had lost something in the past. She lost him and he lost her. Both were sinking with each other's. It seems like both souls were hungry for each other. The night went long both were in their own world. In morning, she woke up alone in the bed wearing Jungkook shirts which he was wearing last night. There was bracelet on her wrist which she clearly remember wasn't her. She smiled. Knowing it was given by him, she remembered everything. Her cheeks became red. She sniffed his shirt. When she came back from bathroom after freshing, she was brushing her hairs when her eyes fell on the M at Rik given by him. She touched that mark on her neck. Her phone ringed it was named, Your Hellwisher. She knew it was him he saved. That just to tease her, she picked it up. Jungkook, be ready at PM we are going to meet your dad. He cut the call without listening her reply. She snuffed her nose angrily and said beast. Dot dot a tpm. He was exact there in her room seeing her back she can see him in the mirror he was. I are her from head to toe and then his eyes went on her. There was fierce in those eyes. He was coming closer to me with slower steps until my back touch his chest. GK. This day will going to be very long. Prepare yourself. He said and drag her from her arm to high car. Mr. Briar was sitting in the front with driver he settled with Yin on back seat. Yin Pav, I don't know why I'm getting bad vobes from this all. My heart says that. Something bad is going to happen but after last night it was mixed feelings for me. I thought my old Jungkook was back last night but now looking at his eyes it feels like he is on the verge of breaking me. After some times we reach warehouse. Why did he bring me here Yin think? My briar open our door. I didn't move any inches. I don't feel good. Jungkook hold. My hand take me out from the car. He, drag me inside the warehouse. Why did you take me here? I said to him trying to leave from his grip. He pushed me closer to him by my arm. Quiet keep your mouth shut until I ask you to open that little mouth of yours he growled on my face.
he take me with him and we reached there one man was tied on chair, head was, down, until I remember him, dadded, I shouted, Jungkook left my arm and I tried to ran towards my dad when he hold me again tightly. Jungkook leavey me, what you did to my dad, I shouted again, my dad looked up at me my eyes filled with tears, he smiled for me assuring me that, he is fine but he wasn't, Mr. Han, Jungkook keep her out of this, he said firmly. Jungkook, why she should also feel the same pain which I felt five years ago, Yin. Jungkook what are you talking about, why are you doing all of this, she said cryingly. Jungkook, you both played me he shouted both are responsible for my parents death, ask your dad why he was having affair with his best friend's wife, behind his back. Yin was shocked to listen that she remembered about that night. Partners. Mi Han. That's not true Yin he is lying. He said angrily. Jungkook took out his gun angrily and pointed toward Mr. Han. Jungkook. One more lie and you'll lie. He growled angrily. Yin. New Jungkook please don't do this. Jungkook. She will see you dying right here right in front of her eyes. She will see how death comes. Like you saw my father died in front of your eyes. He spits venom from his mouth. Mr. Han. Jungkook at least listen to me first the decide what should you do with me. Jungkook. Shut up just shoot up. We'll kill you he loaded his gun. New Jungkook please don't please. She said sobingly, she fell on the ground with a loud thud. She was unconscious Jungkook was shocked to see her. He instantly bent on his knees and put her head on his knee. Jungkook pat her cheeks. Wake up Yin. Hey Yin. But she wasn't saying anything. After seeing her condition, he really felt helpless like last time seeing his mother condition. He didn't want to lose her after having her now. Take her to hospital. I will come after I deal with him, he said to Mr. Briar. When Mr. Briar left with Yin. Speak, he said firmly looking at ground where Yin was lying unconscious. Mr. Han, I wasn't having affair with your mother. Your father was having affairs. Behind your mother's back and she got to know about that too. She contacted me and ask help from me. Jungkook was quiet. He was listening to him quietly with his back. Mr. Han continued. She asked me if I could take her out from this hell. She told me she wanted to leave this country because she can't see your father with someone else. I was helpless seeing her condition. She didn't deserve him, so I told her that we would leave for America after today's. But your dad got to know about that too. Your dad didn't love your mom he forcefully married her when she was 18. Just like you did to my daughter. Jungkook stilled his breath hitched because it was true he took her forcefully but he can't do that to her, he can't betray her, he can't cheat her not in this life not. Another, he fisted his hands tightly. Mr. Han continued. She called me saying that he got to know about that we were leaving and when I reached there at that night, heard a bang inside from the house I ran inside and saw. Your mother was standing in front of your dad lifeless body. You mother only told me to leave.
I left from there from that country urgently on that night. Then I got to know about that your mom to died. I wanted to come booty promised Yin that I will be put from mafia business. I don't want to risk her life. Jungkook turned around. Jungkook. Liar. You're a liar he growled. Me Briar told me everything that you killed. My father and you were having with mom and dad got angry on her that's why you killed him there. Jungkook tried to catch every point Mr. Briar was the one who was also there when his dad was dying then why he didn't save him. But when Jungkook went house Mr. Briar wasn't there his mom and dad was alone. Yin, Jungkook shouted, that be it starred was behind everything FCAC. He was right beside me all time, but I couldn't catch him. Mr. Han, Jungkook whom are you talking about and what Yin? He was asking panically. Jungkook untied him and said we have to save Yin. Jungkook called his guards and members to come up and send location of Yin. Jungkook had put tracker on her bracelet. Thank God he remembered. Now I'll see how he'll be safe from me Jungkook said. Mr. Han and Jungkook both sat in the car. Jungkook was continuously seeing Yin location. It was showing along the sea. Side. Jungkook was just five minutes behind from them. Yin Pav. My head hurts the most it feels like someone hit my head with wall. It was. Painting hell I feel like someone is holding me. Yin groaned. I'm in a car. Someone. Is dragging me outside the car. I opened my eyes. I got to remember everything. Mr. Briar. Look who woke up, Yin. Where are you taking me I see beside me it seems like I'm on the seaside. Mr. Briar. Where you belonged, dear girl, Yin. Leave me I try to leave from his grip. He was dragging me towards the ship. Jungkook Pav. They reached there. Dot 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 Amar Han. Why did he take her here? I saw there he was going towards the ship dragging Yin with her. I ran behind him. He saw me. He knew there is no way for him to go. He put out his gun and put on Yin's head. Yin breath stop. She saw me there. My eyes meet her. She was terrified. GK. Leave her you be at starred. Mr. Briar. Why should I leave her? She belonged to me. Your woman belonged to me. I was also partner of your father but he kicked me out and made his assistant. I tried to take your mother with me too but she was loyal to that be at starred he shouted. At that night your father accused of his mistake to your mother. He proposed her and promised that he will love her always I couldn't take that. Then I killed him right there with this gun I'm holding but your mother saw me. I threaten her that I will take her too with me. But then she also died. I wanted that chair of your father that why I used you as a pawn he laughed maniacally. Jungkook blood boiled. Jungkook was eyeing Yin all the time like trying to make her understand what to do. Yin got the chance while Mr. Briar was talking. She left from his grip and pushed him before he could do anything. Jungkook instantly bring his gun up and shoot her. Bang. Bang. 
double quotes bang double quotes dot dot Amar Briar shouted painly. He groaned. Yin ran towards them Jungkook was seeing her she passed him. Dad she hugged her dad who was right behind Jungkook. Jungkook can hear her sobs. She was sobbing badly. Because of him. His heart was aching badly for her but he can't do anything now. Jungkook went back to his car. Mr. Han also came there with Yin who was attached to him and not leaving him. Jungkook saw from the mirror her angelic face. Her nose was red. She had bruises on her arms and face too. Her father pat her head. He was soothing her and calming her. He wanted to do that to her to soothe her to calm her to make her the most happiest woman of the world but what he did to her. He broke his promise. He made her cry. He put her in this situation. He broke her. All the way his eyes was on her like she could be stolen from him any moment. She didn't look at him any sec. The car stopped it was Mr. Han's mansion. She slept in the car. Mr. Han couldn't carry her Jungkook knew that. He opened his door and went to pick her up in his arms. Mr. Han stop him. Mr. Han. I can carry her you don't have to do. Jungkook whispered. Last time please. I know she wouldn't let me touch her when she will gain. Conscious. Mr. Han was shocked to see the same man who came there with his head up strong. Man, now he is begging to him. He didn't stop him. Jungkook carry her up in her bedroom. He put her in her bed. He saw her. He knows she will never forgive him even he. Kill himself. Mr. Han know he needs some time alone with her he leave the room and went. Outside. Jungkook touch her hairs it was so soft. He touched her forehead where she had some bruises. He touched her close eyes and then nose and them on lips. He brushed his L. P.S. on her softly. He just F.L. her through his L. P.S. Sorry. I'm sorry my love one tear leave from his eye and then another. He let out his emotions in front of her. He patted her head he whispered I missed you the most. When you left me I was alone. You were the only hope in my life. But I lost you too. She moved in her sleep. He stands up didn't want to disturb her and turn off her. Room lights. When he left her room, her father was standing beside her door. He saw him. I'm sorry Jungkook whispered looking down. Mr. Han saw tears in Jungkook's eyes. He knew he was the child of his best friend. He betrayed him even if that was unintentionally. He lost his best friend too. He was guilty he couldn't save him. And now his son was standing in front of him. He was there with me in my hard time I be, believed him that you did all this to my father, I'm sorry, I know I can't change past now and I'm guilty of it, he whispers. Mr. Han looked at him at his face he resembles to his father a lot. He knew he loved her daughter so much. He stepped ahead and hugged him. Jungkook stilled after a lot of time he got the warmth of father. Maybe he is not his real father but he is the only one whom he can rely on and trust. Jungkook hugged him too and first time he started crying while hugging him. His sobbing were heard. After dad and mom died I didn't got the affection of my dad 
I missed him and my mom too, he was crying like a child. I got this affection from you, I didn't want to hurt her. She is my life, she is the only one whom I can rely on now, but what can I do now it's too late she will not forgive. Me now, he was saying everything while crying. He was sobbing badly. Shit's not the time to think like this Mr. Han said patting his head. I am not going to force her Jungkook, it's between you and her. Win her heart again, Mr. Han said, and they separated. Jungkook looked at his eyes and whispered, thank you he left from there. But little did they know that Yin woke up and listened their conversation. In her dark room she was also sobbing badly. First time in her life she saw him crying so badly. After three days. It's been three days when Yin last saw Jungkook, there wasn't any news from his side. Yin also didn't ask about him. She was now dull and drab girl. She didn't ant to talk to anyone. Her dad was said seeing her child like this. Yin was planning to go back to New York for her career. At night she was packing her clothes when Mr. Han came in her room. Yin. Dad what you're doing here? Mr. Han. Yin we have to go Jungkook. Yin. What are you talking about him dad? Mr. Han. Yin he is in hospital we have to go now. Yin. Dad but what happened she tends listen to him. Mr. Han. He got into fight and he was drunk. He got shoot in his shoulder. Yin stilled. Yin. Ha. Huh? Wa. What? Mr. Han. Come we have to go. Yin was silently crying in the car praying that he will be fine. They reached there. Amar Han asked from reception about Jungkook. He was in an operation theater. Operations was going on. Jungkook's man told Mr. Han about that. Every member was present outside the room praying for him. Doctor came outside. He is fine now. He will wake up in any minute, doctor said. Everyone relaxed. When can we meet him? Ian asked. He is under anesthetic medication. He will wake up after some times, doctor said. Yin went inside the room. She saw him laying there with a lot of wires. She sat beside him and hold her hand. You're so bad. I hate you so much, she said cryingly. Is this so difficult for you to come to me and ask for forgiveness? Yin said. She put her head on his hand. When I left you five years ago, I always loved you, I always remembered you. You are so bad. Lying here calmly and here I'm as worried for you. I hate you so much she was continuously crying. She felt his hand pat his head. She looked up at him and saw his eyes on her. They both looked into each other's eyes. Sorry, she said looking in her eyes, she didn't reply. I'm sorry, forgive me. I hurt you. She still didn't reply. I didn't have enough courage to come in front of you face. He said, yeah, that's why you came when I was asleep past three nights, she said, making sad face. You know, he asked surprisingly, I know about your smell, I smelled like you after I woke up. First I thought I was just assuming and then I saw Mark on my neck which you gave me when you couldn't control yourself she said teasing him. They both smiled at each other, Jungkook patted side of his, come here. No you are badly injured now she replied to him. GK. Come her or I'll force you. 
Yin sighed she didn't has any option left she knew if she didn't go he would have pulled her. She laid beside him their both face were facing each other. Both were looking at their eyes. I love you he whispered their nose were touching. It was as soothing to listening from his mouth after so long. I missed you GK said. I thought I could take my revenge. I didn't know I would feel so helpless while doing that. You brought my old self back, he added. When you left me I was alone there missing you badly thinking that if I caught you then I will not leave for any sec. She was just listening to him quietly. You are my only family in this life. I can't leave you. Sorry. She saw his tears were leaving from his eyes. She bring her hand to his face and clear those tears while he was only looking at her. Marry me again, he said for real this time. She stilled listening him, she smiled and kissed him on his L. P.S. Giving him his answers. Yes, I love you too. 